Hi, I'm Simon from Casual Carpet Baits. Uh, this is my video blog. I'm doing a day session down at Gorsley Hall's Specimen Lake. Um, I will talk you through the lake and the rigs I'm using. Um, it is September. We're on about 14 degrees with a bit of sunshine. Got three rods out. Um, if you don't know Gorsley Hall, it's based near Crewe. It's got one main lake, which is just over the hill that side to me, and the Specimen Lake, which is right behind the camera, which I'll show you through in a minute. Um, I have been told when I paid this morning that it's a specimen lake on the basis of the specimen ghost and koi that are in here. Um, I haven't seen any of those yet, but apparently there's a pure white one. A pure white one with dots and the carp go to £24 is what I've been told. Um, I was down here a week ago doing the casual carper social, which you might have seen. And I was over on the main lake chatting to people, had a couple of rods out, caught a couple of fish. Uh, my friend Neil was down on this lake. He had a couple of doubles out, so I thought, while I was here, maybe I'll come back next week, uh, do a quick session, put some rods out, and see what we catch. Uh, the cost for fishing the specimen lake is 14 quid for the day. That gives you three rods. Uh, fortunately today, nobody else is on the specimen lake. Um, I haven't booked it out myself entirely, but uh, there's just nobody else turned up. So I'm good with that. Um, let me talk you through uh... the lake. It's not massive, is the first thing I'd say. It does seem relatively deep. I've uh, had a landing net pole in the margin, and there isn't um, around this bank anyway. I'm on what you'd consider to be the, the far bank. Um, landing net pole in the bottom, see if there's anything of a margin. It seems to drop to five foot pretty quickly, um, and then another seven, eight foot down from that in the space of three foot away from the bank. You've got a few features. There is a log floating out in the middle, which I just checked and is suspended by a chain. Uh, it might be all right to target with some surface baits, um, but I wouldn't be putting a bottom rod around there if it's got uh, a chain or two holding it down to the bottom. Um, that's just gonna end, it, end badly. Um, you've got a nice overhanging tree over up in this corner with a small lily bay and a reed bed around there. Over in that section, got a bit of bait mix out. One rod's over there. There's another little overhanging tree over here, um, which also looks a good spot. Sits over the water, four or five foot. So we've got one right tight to that on the bank. Far bank is grass and reeds. You can walk around it. So good for getting bait in. There's a little reed bed that's halfway out that I might try a bit later. As you can see, there are some pesky gulls trying to pick up any blade that floats off the surface just bombing and they've been here since I got here and anything that pops up they're having off um, up at the top end of the lake there is another lily bed I've had a rod down out there and that's where my first fish of the day's come from which I'll show you a video of in the minute um, I managed to catch it before I even started filming which is always a great start to the day um, since then I've had a tiny little run on that overhanging tree over there but not enough to to hit uh, nothing from the lilies over there uh, still early in the day, so we'll see how it goes. The lake is a real mix of sunshine and shade with some big trees over the top and some big ones up there. Uh, I'm in a nice clear spot, so I've got plenty of room to cast without you really having to worry about that too much. And um, when I'm going up the top end, I'm going to the right hand side of the top end, so I avoid the tree on the left. So, uh, Ghost Hill Specimen Lake, first one on the bank. Um, from right in the far side on the lily beds, beds had me all over the lake. Uh, put up a really good fight, not too happy at the moment, that's fine. Uh, tips the scale at eight pounds, so nothing major for a specimen water, but just a nice long little ish common. Uh, I'm gonna get the rods back in, see if we can get any more. Okay, so now we've got fish number two on the bank. Uh, it's come from the far side, over by the overhanging uh, willow tree. Uh, had a couple of little runs on there, seemed to be going well. So I had a yeast extract wafter on, just trimmed it down to make it more of a barrel. 10 minutes later, this just, uh, just scraping a double mirror carp. Again, pretty standard fish, nothing to get excited about, nothing particularly specimen about. Uh, Put up a good fight, so that's all right. 
right so a uh, quick update we I've got about an hour left um, I've had two so far uh, it's been really quiet really really quiet I've had the odd little knock but uh, nothing major um, seen the odd fish on the back margin so I've got a solid bag over there now um, but it's been really tough going today uh, I expected to, it to be to have a lot more on the bank than, than what I've got for a specimen lake but that's the way it goes uh, just quickly talk you through what bait I've been using. So in the throwing stick I've had spice krill boilies. Uh, these are casual carpet spice krill boilies obviously. Great for in the throwing stick. Biodegradable packaging as well, which is still the only UK supplier for those. Um, in the solid bags I've had a mix which is a uh, crumb down pineapple, crumb down oh, pineapple butric and black pepper oil, crumb down spice krill with a salted caramel glug over the top just to give it a little bit of flavoring with a few broken boilers in there as well uh, on the hook i've had one on the yeast extracts uh, like marmite pop-ups um, these have never let me down i'm always catch on these really highly scented and they fish really really well uh, the other one that i've caught on is the pineapple and butric wafters uh, love these they smell absolutely beautiful uh, it's my bait of choice for winter um, we're using these a lot over the winter along with the boilers and the glug. Uh, the other rods I've got out, I've had a 12mm solid caramel pop-up on. I've had a little run on that, but nothing nothing else of note. I uh, do love how they, uh, these ones smell like uh, caramel. So I spend half my day sniffing those. Um, and the third one that I'm not caught on today, but usually do, is these, which are garlic, tiger nut and peanut wafters usually do really well on these but I've not had anything today but I did have on the main lake when we were at the social last week they were doing well for me. Uh, baiting up wise I've mixed it up to see what I can get. I've had a couple on solid bags which hasn't produced anything. Um, I've been putting bait across that back margin which is where the two fish have come from. I've been in and out of the lilies around the lilies with solid bags um, and it's just not particularly happened today. Um, but still an hour to go, I'm still optimistic, it's a couple more on the bank and I'll be pretty happy. So here's my final review of Ghosty Hall Specimen Lake. Um, you have to pay a quid extra for a rod, per rod to fish it. Um, I do think it's a bit of a joke calling it a specimen lake um, on the basis of two ghosties in here. Uh, the stamp of fish I've caught, eight, ten pounds. It's probably slightly bigger than the main lake. So uh, I get that, but for me, this should be renamed something different to the specimen lake. Um, if you want to call it a specimen lake, they're going to need to trim the stock down and everything's got to be 18 plus. Um, as it was at one point, I remember when it was first dug, uh, going back a few years, it was a specimen lake. They did stock it with some particularly big carpet in those days. Um, but since then, it's full of small fish again. Um, is it worth the extra quid? If no one else is here, I'd probably say yes, it is worth the extra quid because you get the lake to yourself. Um, the fish, as I say, is slightly better stamped than the ones in the main lake, but we're still not nothing to get excited about. Um, I just don't think it should be classed as a specimen lake. But still has an enjoyable day. It's a nice spot. It's been absolutely peaceful. The only people I've seen all day is the guy collecting my ticket and uh, making a pop down just to say hello. So it's been nice and peaceful. Whole lake to myself so I can cast wherever I want and one of my rods is off. So just as I was filming the roundup, uh, rod went off again, down at the far end by the lilies, solid bag with the crumb mix, yeast extract wafter like marmite on it again, doing the business. Uh, again, as I was saying, you know, specimen lake doesn't want his picture because he's not a specimen. Well, let's have a look. Very plain looking mirror probably eight nine pounds worth of fish fought pretty well um stick him straight back in see if i can sneak another one out just before we finish